Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will talk about atmospheric perspective. Out of my brand new book on the basics of drawing, the ultimate guide for beginners. Perspective in drawing and in art in general gives objects on a flat surface an illusion of three-dimensionality or depth. There are two types of perspective. Linear perspective, which uses converging lines to represent the sizes of objects as they appear smaller and smaller the farther they are. And atmospheric or aerial perspective, which has to do with the variation of color and detail as distance from the viewer increases. We see the colors of nearby objects more vivid, more intense while those far away appear paler and tend toward a grayish blue. Far away we don't have contrasting values, while closer we see blacks and whites. We may see nearby objects sharp, while those far away become softer. Now let's make a sketch that shows atmospheric perspective. Let's begin by using some graphite powder and a stump. We will draw a close-by woman from the back who will be an archer looking away and then a faraway little castle on a hill. I'm touching the graphite powder with the stump and then I use that dirty tip to draw. The reason I chose the graphite powder and stump was to create the softness needed the blurry effect. And by the way, I am applying last week's lesson on the rule of thirds on this sketch. As you see, the woman is along a vertical line of a third and the castle on intersecting lines. If you missed the video, I recommend you to watch it. Here is the link. The castle and the faraway hills will stay of a light gray and blurry but the woman should be a lot sharper and contrasting, that is, with real blacks. So for that I'm using a carbon pencil. While I draw, I'll read you some more information regarding atmospheric perspective out of the book. It says, when we have a lot of atmosphere, that is, distance, in between the viewer and the object, it affects how the object looks. There are basically four ways in which atmospheric perspective affects how we see faraway objects. Color saturation decreases. We see more vibrant colors on close objects. But as distance increases, with more atmosphere between the viewer and the objects, color saturation decreases. Objects look paler, cooler, bluer, since the atmosphere appears as bluish gray. Contrast of value decreases. The contrast between darks and lights decreases with distance, with no complete blacks or whites far away. Overall value lightens. Values also appear to lighten with distance. A mountain range far away appears lighter than the foreground. Detail diminishes. Atmosphere between the viewer and objects also makes it harder to see details. We may see sharp edges on nearby objects, but with distance, edges appear to soften. This can change with different circumstances, such as thick fog, low light, etc. Ok, good. If you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code sharp edges. I really hope that these tips were helpful to you. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, get the book with the link below, <laughs> subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.